guys, I hope you're all well and welcome to the next training vlog video. So this was my fourth training session of the week and I was training my lower body and chest. Now before I show you the training footage, something else I've spoken about on Instagram this week that I wanted to share on YouTube. Is, and that is something that not a lot of people talk about and that is sodium intake and how it can have an impact on the scale weight. So this will be worth investigating especially if you're starting to see some freakish wanes for, for whatever reason there's certain days you're significantly heavier than others but your calories and macronutrients and training are staying the same so in short if your sodium intake is too high this can cause water retention therefore this can have an impact on the scale and pretty much play havoc with your measurements as well. So my suggestion would be to stay under approximately 3,000 milligrams of sodium per day. And if you're tracking your food intake on MyFitnessPal, MyFitnessPal automatically tracks this. Try to stay within that, within that figure. Additionally, it's important to note that you don't want to have any big fluctuations in your sodium intake either. This can have an impact when you're trying to objectively measure your progress. So again, look at my fitness pound, just try and prevent any big fluctuations in your sodium intake. Additionally, something else that's important to consider is potentially doing a seven day weigh-in. If you're starting to see some inconsistent reasons, you're not sure why, instead of just weighing yourself once a week, focusing on weighing yourself every single day for seven days and then divide that total figure by seven and that'll basically give you your average weight for the week and this can be quite useful especially for females because of water retention because of their menstrual cycle it can allow you to be slightly more objective it's not always necessary and i don't always use this with the majority of my clients but if you're starting to see some inconsistent readings it can be worthwhile doing a seven day weight weighing yourself every single day and then divide that total figure by seven. So hopefully that's been useful. Enjoy the training footage and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care. You're listening to an Enhanced exclusive preview. Subscribe for more great music from Enhanced.